For supported resting cobbler's pose, you will need blankets or cushions. The first blanket or cushion goes under your head to elevate it slightly higher than your shoulders. Two more blankets rolled into a bolster or yoga blocks will go under your upper thighs so your legs are well supported. In supported cobbler's pose, you don't want to feel an enormous stretch in your inner thighs. Now lie on your back with your knees bent and the soles of your feet together. Don't pull your feet in too close to your hips. And place one blanket under your head and one under each thigh. Remember the support under your legs will be just high enough that you don't feel too much stretch. Now rest your arms out at your sides and close your eyes. Resting cobbler's pose is an opportunity to release tension in the belly and hips. Bring your attention to the belly letting each gentle rise and fall of the breath consciously relax your abdomen more and more deeply. You can feel the gentle tidal rhythm of your breathing in your belly as tension melts away. As your muscles relax, broaden your hips slightly if you wish. As the belly softens, the navel and belly organs sink into the back body more and more deeply. Gentle breath in, relaxing breath out. Imagine your thigh bones, letting them sink deeply into the blankets, especially right at the hip. When your mind wanders, bring your attention back to the soft, soothing rhythm in your belly, to the widening of your hip bones, and the sinking of your thigh bones into the blankets. This release will travel all the way up your spine, allowing your shoulders to sink deeply into the floor and the back of your skull to grow heavy. Now hold your outer thighs and slowly bring your knees together. Breathe out and pull your knees toward your chest. Roll slowly to your right, coming up to a seated position. For supported heart opener, you'll need three blankets. Starting with your blankets in basic blanket fold, fold one lengthwise in thirds and place it on your mat. Fold the other in half lengthwise, placing it across the first blanket. Sit on your mat in front of your blanket, wedging it right up against your hips. So as you lie back, your sacrum, that V shape of bone below the waist, and the rest of your spine are supported. 
your hips will stay on the floor. Position the second blanket behind your heart. The final blanket or cushion goes under your head, so your head is slightly higher than your shoulders. Now relax your arms a good 12 or 18 inches away from your ribs. Let your legs relax and your feet fall open. Close your eyes using an eye bag if you wish. Focus your mind by tuning to the rhythm of your breathing. Let your breath help you relax. When the body is under enormous stress, we tend to round the shoulders and tighten the chest. This makes your upper back muscles very tight. This is a gentle way of allowing the heart and throat to open and tight muscles in your upper body to unravel. Center your attention in the core of your chest, allowing the steady rhythm of your breath in and out to create a calm and spacious center. As this gentle support allows you to relax the armor of muscle around your upper body, gradually let the natural radiance of your heart shine. Promote that feeling with the image of a spacious, expansive chest given to you by the gentle rhythm of your breath in and out. You may find it more difficult than you expected to lie back with the heart and throat open in this way. When our hearts have been wounded or when we've experienced great fear, we protect ourselves by closing the chest. Finish this pose at any time if you feel uncomfortable. However, there's an element of wonderful surrender and liberation that comes from this practice. You can deepen the experience by removing the blanket from under your head so that when you lie back again, your head is now slightly lower than your heart. And allow yourself to simply free fall back. Roll to your right, resting your head on your arm. Now come up to sit, joining your palms at your chest. Legs up the wall pose is a profoundly relaxing yoga pose. It's most effective with your hips supported on a couple of folded blankets, but can be restful without any props at all. Begin by folding your blankets from basic blanket fold in thirds from the short end. Put one blanket on top of the other and place them about a foot from a wall. Sit sideways on the blankets Lean back on your hands and swing your feet up the wall, lying back on your shoulders. Adjust your blankets so your lower hips hang just slightly between the blankets and wall. Ideally, your sit bones are between the blankets and wall and your sacrum completely supported. However, if your lower back hurts, modify your position by scooting away from the wall so your hips all the way to the tailbone are supported on the blanket. If that's still uncomfortable, 
remove one blanket. Also modify your position if you can't straighten your knees by pushing the blankets further away from the wall. Extend your arms to your sides at shoulder level and close your eyes using an eye bag if you have one. This pose, commonly called legs up the wall, also means deep lake pose. The deep lake is your lower belly. So bring your mind into your abdomen, completely relax, and allow it to drop into your back body. The back body in turn drops into the blankets and the deep lake of your lower abdomen becomes calm and serene. The calmer the belly, the more quiet the mind. The more relaxed the belly, the more relaxed your lower back becomes, allowing your whole spine to feel its melting gently over the side of your blanket, creating an opening of the heart and quietening the face. A nice modification of this pose, especially if your legs are tired, is to bend your knees, bring the soles of your feet together, and slide your feet down the wall. Each time your mind wanders, simply turn your attention back to your breathing and to creating a deep, calm lake in your lower belly. Deep Lake Pose is primarily a pose to quiet the mind and relieve tension. It's also wonderful for circulation. Many of the same benefits as more complex inverted poses of yoga. Though simple, this is a very powerful pose indeed. Come out of Deep Lake Pose by sliding the blankets out from under you. Roll slowly to your side and sit in a comfortable seated position with your palms in prayer position at your chest. 